Live from the Bellagio, it's Success Express, the only financial news ranked, the only financial news what? podcast. I'm sorry, I forgot to say it's a podcast. Sometimes I start over. Okay. We got to start strong. No problem. Let's start strong. Honk. Sorry about that. And one second. Here we go. And it's all hooked up, so everything should be working. And here we go. And actually, I'll count myself in. Three, Five, oh, six, seven, seven, eight. Action. Mm-hmm. Go whenever you're ready. Go ahead. Nice song. Great song. It's funky. Welcome to Success Express, the only financial news podcast ranked 130th in Berlin. We deliver the latest financial news in a bite-sized bunch of crunch Hershey Kiss baseball diamond format so that you can get all your crucial updates to date and live on the program. I'm one of your hosts, Ethan the Crispy Crust, Kaka Stink, Hambone Jr. with me, of course. (laughs) He's Eric, the Wabi Sabi Poppy, the mind freak of finance, the sniper of money, the big boy on campus. Bing, bong, fuck, what's up? How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Good, brother. Uh, How are you? Oh, my God, so fucking sick. I just uh, had yeah, diarrhea. Dude. With us today, as per usual, is Shawnee Moose. The goose is loose in the ATC studios. How's it going, Sean? Uh, I'm good, but I'm also at the Bellagio. All right. All right. You're with us in the Bellagio. I thought you were remote, but your silence and lack of personality and energy makes me think that you're all the way back in California, about five and a half hours away. Says something about you. (laughs) Now, Sean, how fucking dope is it to be out here at the Bellagio? It's great. I already already, uh, went through all my bankroll, though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. That is not good. Well, listen. You might be able to get that bankroll back because we have today the Success Express raffle. As you can see here on Twitch, this is exciting. We have balls of different colors. Listen to that. Eric's spinning it right now. Go ahead. Little basket, gold basket. This old, rusty, dilapidated bingo tub. Yeah, it's really fun. He's got these little ping pong balls, and they have different numbers written on them, one through five, and they're different colors. So everybody can take a guess at a color and a number, and if we pull it, you get a special grand prize. Isn't that right, Eric? That's right, and I would love to tell you what that is, but I legally can't. It's a surprise, big prize. Surprise. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I get it. Surprise. It's a... It's Like, you get a it, prize. Yep. What does sir it, mean? What's the Latin for sir? Sir means two things. One, it means male, as in gender, like, hello, sir. And right. two, it means something happened that was unexpected. So if it's a like a surplus, sur- right? An unexpected oh, plus addition of, of shit. Oh, okay. And then it's a prize. Oh, okay, that's fine. I can just give you a prize. You knew it was coming, or it's a surprise. You didn't see it coming. Here it is. That's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Most tornadoes are sur tornadoes, right? Or uh, sur hurricanes. Yeah, or sometimes I'll sur. You know what I'm saying? Have an accident. Sir, shit yourself. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Now today, or not only do Is we that have your this... your new nickname, Sir Shit, <laughs> Sir Shit Yourself? That's correct. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you very much. Um, obviously, What we room have... are you guys in, in the Bellagio, by the way? In the janitor's closet. Ah! Oh, ah! he's kicked out of his room. Damn it. And also with us in the fucking Bellagio, I was up with him late last night, hitting oh, yeah. the buffets, oh, yeah. hitting the spearmint rhino. I watched this guy snort all sorts of shit off of a woman. This is Lukey Lou, the new Purdue. What's going on, Lukey Lou? How, how are you awake, dude? <laughs> we fucking partied so <laughs> late hard, Late night action, Lukey Lou. Dude, What's up, man? I saw you throw up all over the roulette board. Yeah. <laughs> dude, this guy can put down margaritas, am I right? Oh, my God. We were getting free margaritas. All night at Kenny Chesney's I Love This Bar and Grill. It was awesome! Dude, it was right next to the fucking fake Eiffel Tower. It yeah, was so dude. sick. <laughs> that was so funny when Lucas peed on it. Yeah. And then I saw that Penn and crazy. Teller. I saw Penn and Teller. Uh, okay. <laughs> They were so good at magic. Did you see them do magic, or did they judge other people's magic and be like, is that how you do it? I know it. It was half judging everyone else's magic and then half of it calling bullshit on, like, companies and religions and all sorts of stuff that they think they know better than. What's up, Luke? What's up, dude? Um, Quick shout-out to my mom. It's Mm. the first time listening to the 
the show. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> shit. Uh, I mean, poop. So, uh, poop, sorry. Poop. Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. Poop, poop uh, about everything poop. else I said before. That's my fault. I didn't know Lucas's mother was listening. Thanks for being on the program. And I'm sorry she, you heard me say that he snorted stuff off a woman. It's a joke. It's a childish joke. We were joke. just kidding. It's locker room time. We went to bed here at the Bellagio at a reasonable hour. We, it was 7.30. It was 7.30. I think we went to Carbone for dinner. Correct. We had we a had nice a dinner, an white Italian. tablecloth. Uh, Lucas only had uh, food. He didn't even drink water. He no. didn't drink anything. No, he didn't. He just sat there. Lucas just sat there. He barely ate. Yeah, and then we took it. We all pitched in and we had an Uber uh, back to uh, Luxor where we were staying. Yeah. And... Uh, I watched him go to bed. Yeah, and I, we got we got even the kids' room at Luxor. It's not even a normal hotel room. It's like specifically it's so for, that nothing happens. Children. Everything the TVs like all the bad channels are blocked. Yeah, we didn't watch anything crazy. Yeah. Like, and then Ethan and I went to the fucking Mirage Room, <laughs> rad, yeah, bro. Dude. It was oh, sick. So fucking rad, bro. <laughs> we did that fucking uh, kamikaze shot. Yeah, <laughs> that, was that was crazy. That was crazy, dude. Dude, remember it was I, freezing in there. You shat on a bunch of Japanese <laughs> businessmen in the middle of the fucking terrarium, brother. Oh, my God, I did. <laughs> yeah. And then we went through, navigated that whole, like, homeless, like, underground tunnel system underneath all the all the fucking casinos and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. We were doing meth, yeah. crack, yeah. hair rod, fucking it was zoomers, crazy. uppers, downers, you name it, bro. I love Vegas. Woo! I got an OJ Simpson tattoo. What? But Lucas did nothing. None of that. Pretty much zero. Boring. I think he even picked up like a Bible. Like nice guy. Religious guy. Nice guy. But for me, boring. Yeah, I mean, you go to Vegas, you want to have a little bit of fun. The city of sin. Vegas is all about two things, Eric. I'm glad you said it. Sex and gambling. Gambling. Well, sex and gambling. Yeah. Yeah, very timidly announced. <laughs> Today I wasn't is sure all about. You was... weren't sure. <laughs> it's Marcy Playground. Clearly, it's Marcy I'm Playground. Still sing it. Barely, but I'd love you for you to play it back uh, in post. Now, all right, can I? Uh, let me sing it now for the oh, post recording. Oh, okay, let's get it clean. Good call, bro- uh, brother. I smell sex and gambling, yeah. In the Bellagi, oh, yeah. I like roulette and craps and and blackjack. I hope I really win, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really hope I win, yeah. yeah. I'm not counting cards. I swear, <laughs> I'm just having a great time with my bros. So just like Marisi Playground said, Marisi Playground. So just like, so just like Maricio Playground always said, Oh my darling, my son, Maricio Playground. Today's all about sex and gambling. Yeah. So Eric's gonna take you through his sex tips, his seduction secrets. Uh, live from the Bellagio here, and then then we're gonna gamble. We're and gonna I, actually yeah. put you know our money to our mouth. We're gonna put a ten dollar bill in our mouth, and then we're gonna do this raffle. We're gonna for spin people. the raffle box, and people bucket. can get some cool shit, yeah. secret special shit. That's cool. Yeah, and I just want to say thanks to everyone for being here. We're doing this live. It's our first live episode. Yeah, here, here we've never Bellagio. done a show, period, let alone in Vegas at the Bellage. At the Bellage. At the Bellododo. <laughs> Live at the Bellododo, it's us. Live at the Bellododo. Here is Success Express, number one financial podcast. But today we're not talking about finance. We're, you know, we talk about finance enough. Well, gambling is part of finance. I would say that is a way to increase your Absolutely. money load. Yeah. But we're also talking about how to make that person you really like like you back. Score. You know? <laughs> Yeah, we score. Yeah. In other words. Sometimes you look at a person and you like, you go, man, I want to do you. (laughs) Sometimes you say, wow, I really want to do you, and I don't know how to get that done. Well, with my new course, getting it done. Eric the Wabi Sabi Poppy, the mind freak of finance, the sniper of money, bing bong fuck. The emperor of ass. (laughs) 
the Emperor of Ass has a new course, uh, which you can find right now, right here on Tosasis Bruce, live from the Bellagio. And if you can get a special discount, if you go to successexpress.com slash... Nope. If you go to patreon.com slash successexpress, we should do a super cut of every time I've fucked that up. I always love that. 100% of the time. I, if anybody wants to cut that up on Twitch, please do. Now, Eric has sex. expertise in this. Yeah. Ex- sexpertise. Sexpertise. I'm sort of a sexpert. Sort of? I, I would say definitely. Well, listen. I Whenever I have I a problem, I come to you, you sort me out. Absolutely. I appreciate that. No charge. No charge. Here's how you get laid in Vegas. I'm going to break it down for you very simply. Right now, right well, here. Well, first success. you're gonna want to go to the buffet. <laughs> right here, success press for the first time ever. Eric is gonna get you laid in Vegas. Here's what you do. First num- number one. Oh, <laughs> I love our background. Just is six. Wow, that's cool. just unbelievable. Oh my god, and you're right, uh, everybody. Now the time has come. Uh, everyone guess a number and a color right before Eric's sex tips. So get lubed up for that. But first, we have pink two. So if you selected pink two. Sean's going to email you with the information on that super special prize. Isn't that right, Sean? On the surprise. Uh, prize you didn't know was coming, although I did hype it up. So maybe it's just it a the thing. regular prize, but you don't know what it is. But you still don't know what it is, so therefore it is still a surprise. Yeah, that's right. No, I got it. I got it. We got prizes. What is it? It's, uh, it's actually from our sponsor. Oh, oh okay. What's, what's the, our sponsor? What, our sponsor for today? Yeah, it's actually it's a uh, gift card to the uh, Sin House on Sunset. Oh, sin oh my house. God! The house of sin, the sin house itself. Sin house on sunset. The sin house on is that, sunset. Is that in Los Angeles or in Vegas? <laughs> it's in Vegas. That is cool. Sin house on sunset. I didn't know. I didn't know they had a Sunset Boulevard in Las Vegas. It's one of the it's most up, popular streets. It's up and coming. Oh, okay. Sunset Boulevard is kind of off Vegas. It's yeah. It's around Henderson. It's in Henderson. Correct. Uh, so yeah, if you got pink too, that is fucking cool for you. Congratulations, you are gonna get a prize, and it's gonna be a surprise when you get it because you don't know what's coming. And it's gonna be from Sean, and it's gonna be from our sponsor, the Sin House. The Sin House, is that correct? Sunset. Sin House on Sunset Boulevard here in Las Vegas, coming at you from the Bellagio. Isn't that right, Sean? Yeah. And they're gonna get a gift so card, right? Boring, ten dude. bucks, or yeah, you said it was a surprise, but it's not. That's what it's a gift it's card. A ten bucks, ten dollar gift card to Sin House. Okay, and don't correct my intro or whatever. I'm trying to hype up the show, you're coming at me going like, "Oh, that's not right." Which is c- maybe confusing. No, were you confused, Eric, or did you know exactly what the fuck was going? on? I knew exactly what the fuck was going on. Okay, so I'm I guess the listeners, I don't, uh, not Eric. Okay, we're going to play an ad from Sin House, obviously, because they sponsored the show before I break this cage. Is it stupid that we're doing this? I mean, should we even give people prizes? Yeah, of course. We have to. We give people these all this great financial advice, and now they're going to get a $10 gift $10 card to, to this one place City? in Las Vegas. Whatever. I mean, Sin House. Oh, sorry. I'm getting an alert. This is exciting. Uh, we'll break down uh, something. Somebody else gets one of these. This is cool. So. <laughs> That's right. It's a gray one. <laughs> if you pick the color gray, you and, win. Yeah. And if you yeah, pick the, the world's <laughs> most boring, annoying raffle, <laughs> live from the Bellagio. You're obsessed, especially in luck. One financial podcast. Especially in luck if you live in Vegas, because then it's easy right. to get to the zit house. <laughs> music off <laughs> <laughs> all right so we'll be right back with uh, uh sin house that's correct and thank you to them for sponsoring the show that is seriously really uh that is very very cool orange chicken mongolian beef wonton soup <laughs> those little Welcome to sin house the world's most sinful Chinese restaurant here on the Las Vegas Strip on Sunset Boulevard. Sexy Sunset Boulevard is never going to be the same because the Sin House just moved in, baby. We're going to serve you some hot and fresh Chinese food. It's buffet style. (laughs) I bet you've heard of hot and sour soup. We have hot and sexy soup. It's the same exact thing as hot and sour soup, but we just called it uh, hot and sexy. If If you're full up on hot and sexy soup, if you got the big bowl and filled it up of hot and sexy soup uh, 
and you go into the con- into the bathroom. Somebody you like, we we have condoms there for free. If you wanna fuck someone in the bathroom in the Chinese restaurant, that's fine. It's called the Sin House, baby. It's the Sin House. That is encouraged. Off the strip. We're not uh, close to the Las Vegas Strip. It's gonna be about a forty-five minute Uber from there. But once we're you located get, in Henderson. Once you get to Henderson, you'll. Uh, oh yeah, you'll see us on Sunset Boulevard. It's a big, big pair of panties. Our building. It's a big red neon big pair of panties. It's really hot. There's big columns that hold up the building so uh sometimes you have to walk kind of uphill once you're inside to get to the kind of the top of the panties where some of the tables are and the door is this big ceramic uh 20 feet tall uh image of a portrait of or no a sculpture of a panda bear spreading its legs and you walk inside the (laughs) you walk through the panda bear's pussy (laughs) and then you're able to go to the chinese restaurant where you can sample all sorts of sexy sultry things Fried rice. Wonton soup. Did I already say that? Yes. Hot yeah. and se- said that. <laughs> Double fried pork. We also give you a big uh, flour tortilla in case you want to make uh, a taco. Chicken <laughs> taco. <laughs> <laughs> or a chicken burrito. That's right. If you are a fan of both Chinese and Mexican food, but just the tortilla part, you can scoop any of our <laughs> Chinese dishes. Onto a tortilla, free of charge. We don't care. We don't tell secrets here at... The Sin House. The Sin House. I almost said the Sin Lounge. (laughs) Rack, you're on Success Express. A lot of financial stuff in the news right now. Valentine's Day is coming up. It's a huge economic moment for not only... Las Vegas, uh, here we're at the Bellagio, and not only for Vegas is Valentine's big, it's all over the country. So no matter where you are, you're going to want to get Valentine's gear now before it gets expensive. You're going to want your Valentine's gear ASAP, and with the whole fucking shipping delays and, uh, what's it called, the supply chain, everything's going to be fucked, so you got to order it today, but by the time, you know, when you order it today, it'll get to you by uh, February 14th, which is Valentine's Day proper. Now, you're not just going to want to get Valentine's Day gear. You're going to want to get gear for the holiday season. Gear. The gear is going to be cheaper right now, duh. If you get your Christmas tree and shit now, then it won't be expensive and it won't be out of supply then in November, December. And it'll make your house smell nice. Your in house meantime, won't smell like COVID all the time. It'll smell like Christmas. Idiot. Christmas versus COVID. What do you like better? I vote Christmas. Doi. Now, obviously, probably. Uh, oh, and we're going to draw the third raffle. Everybody's asking about which color, what number is next. So pick a color, pick a number one through five. You get a big special prize from Sean and the Sin House. <laughs> the sexiest trade restaurant off the strip. It's yellow one. I'm sorry I wasn't showing the numbers before. If you're watching on Twitch, it is yellow one. I'm so, Nobody got it. I'm looking at the chat here. Somebody got yellow four. I'll tell you what. Sean, here, just cut that out live. It's yellow four. It's Deliza wins. Uh, congratulations to It's Deliza. It's uh, yellow four and you got it. Sean, will you be sending her that gift card? Uh, yeah, I'll do it later. Deliza, put all your personal information in the chat. Put your social security number and your blood type in the chat, and Sean's going to get that over to you right away with a, a bag of your blood, just in case you run out or you get cut. No, it's yellow four, not yellow five. People are, there's a thing on the Twitch no, that says, this just in, yellow five wins. Twitch. That's not right. It was yellow four. Please change that. So we have two producers. You'd think they talk. Did we or introduce th- Lukey Lou? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, because he, with the Bellagio, he was going crazy. I mean, uh, he was relaxing oh, last right, night. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. Relaxing yes, last that's night. That's right. By himself with a Bible. But by the way, how do you feel right now, Luke? Lukey? Oh, check in with him. I love it. Uh, my mom, I love you, by the way. Oh, I, I do love you. Thank uh, you. But awesome, my mom man. has left because of that whole Sin House thing. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize. Yeah, the Sin House. Uh, hmm. It's kind of. Sorry about that. Lucas's mother. Uh, if, if In case Lucas's mother is tuning back in, I will tell you there is an age restriction at the Sin House. It's not a restaurant, you know where everybody can go in. You have to be 27 years or older to, to even get into the Sin House. So all that stuff we were saying is not for kids. I guess we should have said that earlier. 
Right. It's adults only. It's I mean, a, yeah. by the way, this was the sex and gambling episode. Like, you can't be oh, younger that's than true. 18. Well, and, and if you're gamble. Lucas's mom tuning in, like, you can't expect things to be cleany, deep. PG. Yeah. Or G. Or even PG 13. It's rated R today. It's, it's rated sex R. and gambling. <laughs> I smell sex and gambling. Yeah. All day today on Sussex so Bruce. Worth it, right? right all right, man. here we go. We got a raffle going, obviously, all day. And uh, this is exciting, Eric. Do you want to pick one? Why don't you pick one? Just yeah, for sure. fucking shit. I'm going to guess. Without, Eyes are closed. Without looking, I'm going to guess blue four. Very close. Blue five. Holy shit. I was close. That's kind of gray, I would say, or light blue or. Uh, oh. Light blue five. If you anyone guess that, I we someone no. guessed gray too. So let's give it to them because a, a five really looks like a two upside down. Five is a faker. I can't close yeah, this. I got it. Thank you, Eric. Wow, a really exciting day from the Bellagio. Oh, oh my God, Eric, this is what? sad news, man. What? Wow, this is actually kind of tough to even talk about. Unfortunately, uh, looks like the Sin House has burned down. What? Yeah, getting... It's breaking news here, live from the Bellagio. Beloved Chinese restaurant. Uh, what happened? Sort of Mexican fusion, a little bit if you like the tortilla. If you want that. If you want the... <laughs> <laughs> Sin House on Sunset Boulevard, about 45 minutes away from Las Vegas, has burned to the ground. As Do you, you know can what see, happened? As you can see from these pictures, oh shut God. the fuck up, Eric. I'm trying to give the. I'm, I'm really sorry. emotionally affected by this news. The Sin House, Chinese restaurant, a little sprinkle of Mexican fusion. If you like the tortilla, if you're into that, <laughs> it's burned down. Uh, you're seeing images right now, live. It's a big fiery explosion. It looks like the the. Hindenburg disaster, a big mushroom cloud like almost. A, yeah, a volcano erupting or something. I see oh, a fireman. I actually see him one fireman. Yeah, sort of. there is a fireman there move, trying move to your, help. Move your ass for a second. I want to see this fireman. Oh, other way. way. There's oh, three it's a whole firemen. Team. It's a whole team of firemen that are here. trying to put out this giant mushroom cloud and it's so about, And it's up. so crazy, Eric, because it's only 45 minutes from here. So it, you I know, know it's kind it's of close. in our neighborhood. I know. I can actually. I can. I can. I can smell smoke. I can only smell COVID. It was a wonderful place. Uh, it was designed well, you know by Timothy. By the way, maybe the fire has COVID. The fire could have COVID. And, oh you my, know, oh my God, Eric. objects can get COVID. Eric, what a what? coincidence here. I'm looking. It's just in the fire does have COVID. <laughs> oh, my God. Do we know if it's Omicron or Delta? It tested or positive for Deltacron. Omicron. Which is interesting because normally there's a three-day incubation period with Omicron, but I guess because it's fire, everything's rapidly everything's accelerating so inside fast, of it. And the firemen can tell when they put water on it. How long? It smells like Omicron COVID. How it's long does sad. it have? Was it vaccinated? Was the fire? The did fire, it, did the yeah. fire have a booster? The fire did, yeah, get boosted and vaccinated. Was so it, it should be okay. All right, well, how old was he or it? The fire is yeah. pretty... Did he get uh, Moderna or, or Pfizer? It's a Pfizer. fresh. It's a fresh fire, and it got Pfizer. Okay, it so got I the guess Pfizer vaccine. It's got a pretty good chance of living. I guess that that's good. Either way, uh, the Sin it's House important to get boosted. The Sin House was a staple uh, of the community, the Henderson community, and we really are gonna miss that place. I'm gonna miss it. I've never been, but I am gonna miss <laughs> the wonton soup, the hot and sexy soup. And I will say it is unfortunate, but because Corn it, it burned down, nobody will be receiving their prizes from the raffle. Well, that's where we were keeping all the prizes, all that, the gift cards. It was cards a gift card, and, yeah. To, yeah. And if they're burned well, down, even if we did buy the gift card, we still couldn't use it there. That's what I'm saying. There's no so point. That, that's on me. I There's, fucked up. It's no point. Well, whoever burned it down fucked up. You think it was an inside job? I think it was an inside job. Absolutely. You think because it's Vegas, it could be the mafia, or it or could something. be the mob. Yeah, it could be the outside Vegas mob. The Henderson mob? The Henderson mob could have been up to this. I don't want to get into Conspiracy Corner, but I think you know there's something fishy about this fire, clearly. They just gave us gift cards, non-refundable, and now the place burns down and gets COVID? That sounds very convenient. That does sound convenient. COVID-venient. Covenient. Right. <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, Sin House. 
Real we interesting. Really, we really enjoyed your glory holes and your Mongolian beef. Yeah, the uh, the hole that they put because a lot of restaurants they'll you know <laughs> they won't be multifunctional with their bathroom. It's kind of like you go to the bathroom and it's for going to the bathroom and that's it. Right. And Sin House was different. <laughs> Sin House was and a place. Its own rules. Sin House was a place that said, you know what? Sure, this is a bathroom, Fuck but the wall. maybe you can do some other stuff in here. Yeah, and sometimes I didn't know if I was getting. A uh, blowjob or a handjob from somebody or just literally sticking my penis in a big bowl of orange chicken. Because sometimes they would do that. The Sin House, it, every day was a new adventure. Yeah, and then the waiter would come over to you 20 minutes later every table and he goes, you fucked orange chicken. Yeah, it kind of lets you know. Yeah. Gets you in on the secret sauce. Wink. And I thought it was great that you could still, you know, order food and eat food in the bathrooms. Oh, that yeah. was also a that new was renovation. Because really cool. really cool. sometimes you're in there for a bit. You're in there for a bit, and sometimes when you're emptying, you're trying to get you, you, know, you get a little hungry. Absolutely. So it's a circle of life. I mean, you're letting go of calories. What do you want? Some more calories. Exactly. You need to have a, a certain amount of calories. And I know what people burning. are thinking. Yeah. Look, it's clean in there. You wash they your wash hands. It. There's sinks. You think? Oh, what do you think? A Chinese restaurant slash sex club is not going <laughs> to clean the bathroom? Bathroom's the cleanest place in, in Vegas? there. Vegas? Oh my God! You should be eating off off everything in there. It's probably yeah. cleaner than the the main room. Yeah, but again, you cannot uh, you go there because they it's, it's burned, burned down. down. Again, we're, we, awesome our place. hearts go out to all the families and uh, Sin House the, gift the, card employees. employees. My heart goes out to the orange chicken, the Mongolian beef, and. Sweet and sexy the soup. Sweet, <laughs> the uh, sweet and sexy soup. I feel bad. And uh, I feel bad. This is pretty big. And I feel bad for the fire getting COVID. Well, don't feel bad for that COVID fire because Sin House 2 has been announced, Aaron. What? They're bringing it back. Sin House 2 is going to be on Tarragon Avenue. It's about an hour and a half away from Vegas. They're opening up a new Chinese restaurant. Somehow, it's semi Mexican fusion if you're into that. Is it Reno? Uh, oh, it, uh, what is it? It's, Tarragon. It's in Tarragon, which is about an hour and a half away. And it's going to be bigger and better. The rent is cheaper there, so they got more rooms, uh, which will all be multifunctional. It's going to be an incredible place, Sin House 2, and maybe we can get them as a sponsor. And correct, congratulations to the whole Sin House 2 team. It's incredible news. Yes, congratulations to all the new employees of Sin House, because unfortunately... All the old employees died in a big fire. And so the fire I, got COVID. And uh, for I the suck. special grand prize of the day, it's Blue Five. If Congratulations pick, to Blue Five. Blue Five, you win a Sin House 2 $10 gift card where you can get all sorts of sex toys and or Chinese food. Orange chicken. So... Eric, uh, yeah. I don't want to throw you under the bus here. Okay. And I know we're in the Bellagio. We're having a great time. Obvious. I mean, the the way that they designed the whole ceiling here with the uh, the stained glass and the, the flowers, it's like it's impeccable. I'm so happy to be in Vegas with my boys, you know? I love it here. Uh, what do you say after this? We hit up the Aria Buffet. Yeah, that's why not? They got fried shrimp. There's White a, rice. It's the main thing to do here is eat place to place. Yeah. It's the best. 100%. You want to come It's the only come thing here. to do in Vegas. If you're a foodie, I'm telling you, Vegas is the spot. It's the spot. Now, you told me before we started recording, you had some sort of announcement. Is that oh, true? Oh, yeah. I have a new business. Uh, you know, we haven't seen each other in a while. Usually, this is the kind of thing we talk about privately. You yeah. know, if I start a new business, if Eric's writing a book, if I have a rap album. Yeah. We go, you know, we go over it first with each other, and we say, "Is this a good idea? Are all my T's crossed? Are all my I's dotted?" And the other one says, "Yeah, but here's some notes." But yeah. with this, you you just told me, so this is fresh. I did just tell you, and I'm trying to get the word out, grassroots movement from the McDucks. Wow, I love that. And I'd like to pitch them my new website. Great, um, this is exciting, man. I'm really already. I'm just so happy for you and proud of you. Thank you, man. Really, yeah. really appreciate that, brother. So, brother, if, if you're ready, my brother. I really why don't appreciate you tell me, that, my brother. Why don't you tell me all about this uh, this all place? Right. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a. Super- 
live from the Bellagio. It's Eric's new business. I'm Eric, the Wabi Sabi Bobby, the mind freak of finance, the snapper of money, bing bong fuck. I've over the holidays I had a lot I, I had a really good chance to think. I really sat with my thoughts. And then I got COVID. And that sucked. Yeah. It wasn't fun. It wasn't pretty. But now I thank God for getting COVID because it allowed me to come up with my new business idea. It's called You've Got Snails. 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 That's right. It's a mail order snail business where I uh, I started a snail farm. August. I didn't know if I told you that, but I started no. a snail farm. It's amazing. And let's just say I got a lot of snails. Too many. They've sort of overtaken my entire backyard. I, I can't walk around without stepping on snails. Snails multiply. It's exponentially. So much. It's like uh, gremlins. But worse. But worse. It's snails. But you thought, why not turn it into a business? Why not turn these snails into lemonade, I thought. Did you get the snail farm knowing you were going to do this business? No, or it's you just, just my wanted house. To... Oh, that's cool. It's just my house, and I just bought a couple snails. Ipso facto, they fucked. Real quick. And now there's a billion snails. And so I got to offload these mf and snails. And so that's why I created You've Got Snail. It's once a month, you get a snail sent, directed, sent directly... From me, Eric, the Wabi Zabi Bobby, the Mind Freak of Finance, Sniper, Money Bing Bong, fuck. That's you incredible. You get a snail, you get a snail, you get a snail. It's $59.99 a month. And uh, it's a lifetime contract where you get a, you get a, you know, ideally, I'd love to, I'd love to start them young. Hmm. Um, the I snails or the people? The people. Got it. I'm saying as soon as you're born, I think you should sign that birth certificate and then you should, sh- there should be a button, uh, uh, like a box to check. Mm. At the hospital to receive a, a snail. You've got snail. Oh, great! And so you that, start them. Young. Are you working with hospitals? Is that I'm part of the idea? I'm working with Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital right it's now. It's amazing. Yes. So I'm getting them started young. Um, you can get a snail uh, ideally from womb to tomb. That's excellent. That's that's a what great I, idea. I feel like if you if I got a snail every single month, and I, I'll you know all of a sudden I have all these different snails. How long do snails snails live? Uh, five days. That's why you need a new one. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, as soon as the grieving process is about over, right. you can get another snail. And think about all the benefits of that. If you're grieving every single month mm-hmm. over the death of a pet, mm-hmm. you're going to be so much stronger when you walk into that boardroom meeting. Exactly. You know, yeah, you're like, gonna... oh, I don't. I can do anything. I could break up with that person. I could have that hard conversation I didn't want to have because I already went through the grieving process of a snail. Every month, essentially, from the fifth day of the month to about the twelfth day of the month. You can kind of pull off the, my pet just died, do me this favor, right. or that's why I look like this, or right. that's why, you know, I, yeah. I crashed my car into yours, or whatever it is. Right. It's like, well, yeah, my pet just died. firebombed a park. My pet, my pet just died. My snail. My beautiful snail. And then, about, you know, whatever, 18 days later, you get another one in the mail. Get a new one in the mail. I love this business. I think that's very, very smart. Thank you. And, and that's why I I'm here seeking $300,000 for 10% equity in... Snail, what was it? Uh, you've got snail. Which you've I, got and snail. And I know I'm overvaluing the, the, the business at $3 million, but I do think uh, it's, it's, a, it's a game changer. Yeah, I think you're right. And I think I'm because I'm disrupting it's, the pet industry. Sorry for interrupting you. No, absolutely not. Uh, I was just going to piggyback on your you know, big hog and say that. Most businesses will try to aim for people of a specific age group. You know, yeah. you're only going to need this product if you're an old fart. You're only going to need this product if you're a if little you're kid. You're young and cool. Yeah, like Ooh. I'm not going to go buy. You I'm know, a teenager. I play Warzone. Right, Warzone's. Very, but you are saying from the moment you're born, womb. the hospital already puts it on your bill from womb to tomb, and then and yeah, until the day that you die legally. I mean, you're that's so much money. You're just capitalizing on it. It's so much money. So it's I, a lifetime I, of money, literally. Your value your, of, the, of the business is accurate. Yeah. I would say I crunch the numbers in my head, and I, I think that's right. Yeah. So year to date, we've only done $12 in sales, but 
I can give see a lot of growing. discounts or because well, we're like in a couple. A month. We're, we're right now. We're most of our business comes from online <laughs> through the website. Right. Most of our business comes from online, and then we are in a few more boutique retail stores. Are you trying to get into Bass Pro Shop? I would love to get into Bass Pro Shops. I'd love to get into eventually I might Target, have a contact, big box stores, I, Walmart. You might know I did a few deals Yogurt already Land. with uh, Bass Pro Shop. Yeah. So I know a few of the guys over there. I can probably get you a really good deal for for some front placement of You've Got Snail. That would be amazing. And, and again, it's not that big of a deal. It's just like a 20 feet by 20 feet big glass case like filled tank. with snail. Oh, like a snail tank. Yeah. And snail tank six is what I call it. Because <laughs> it's, <laughs> I dress them all up. <laughs> I dress them all up like Navy SEALs. And, but, oh, that's yeah, cute. Maybe Snail Six. Yeah, Snail's Team Six. So. <laughs> Sounds really cute. And yeah. uh, Well, I just want to thank the Bellagio <laughs> for having us today. On thank about you so it. much to the Bellagio, to Mr. Ted Bellagio himself. We really appreciate you giving us the space. And uh, we're right here in the, what do you call this? The game room? The floor. We're right here on the floor of the Bellagio. We hope to join you next week from here. Until then, we're going to try not to go <laughs> too crazy here in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching on Twitch. Uh, thank you, Eric. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Lucas. I love you, Lucas. Hey, I love you too. I'm sorry to your mother. She forgives you. Not Ethan. Wow. I love your mother. Can we get her on the horn here? Um, she just wants to talk to Eric, so maybe after the show. I love you, Lucas's mom. Success Express is an all things comedy podcast, and it's produced by Sean Tracy and Lucas Bollinger. Also, Eric and I are creating other podcasts, and if you want exclusive access to that, you gotta go to patreon.com slash success express. Thanks for listening, McDucks. Bye bye.